When they see me coming, they start begging to move. Hannah Bernhardt gets to spend her days outdoors. Petting baby lambs seems like a pretty good job perk. It's also a lot of work. Nearly every day or so, she makes sure the 50 sheep herd moves to a new area to feed on fresh grass. Quite often when we come to a farm looking to see a farmer, we might be looking for a man. Not in this case. Bernhardt is the farmer at Medicine Creek Farm in Finlayson. The 37-year-old has been raising livestock for about four years on their 160-acre farm. Her husband, Jason, has a job in the city 100 miles away, and that confuses a lot of people. You know, I don't want to talk badly about, like, the Farm Services Agency, but they have historically served traditional commodity farmers where men are more likely to be the farmer. And so in that arena, I often have gotten um, the assumption that my husband is the farmer. She said they would often put his name down on forms instead of hers. Or when out shopping for used equipment, sellers often sidled up to her husband to talk shop, not her. He will tell people like, oh, Hannah's the farmer. Like. <laughs> There were times where women couldn't get loans when they went to their banker or, you know, somebody wouldn't sell them the seed or, you know, they'd go to the implement dealer and they wouldn't, they wouldn't give them the, the, um, the machinery even though they were the one making the choice. And you still see that sometimes. But in 2017, the USDA Ag Census started counting more than one name for a farm's principal operator. Spouses doing just as much work were never counted until now. The last egg census just came out and um, we saw that there's about over 18,000 uh, farms that have primary female operators um, or at least one you know listed as, as a primary um, female operator um, and that's about 26 and a half percent of all farms in Minnesota. And the number of women listed as a primary producer has grown by 65 percent over the last five years. Finally being counted, women are starting to get recognition. Not just for being at the table, but for setting it differently. The Minnesota Farmers Union has started holding annual conferences just for women. This year it was held at a winery with lakeside views and a food truck serving delicious and local farm fresh food. Even the icebreakers seem different. I guess my leadership style is making sure that people know the importance of relationships and again, just checking on people. I kind of see myself as an emerging leader. Um, I'm a healthcare professional, I'm a farmer. But the issues they're facing are the same in farm country. To seek out markets, especially because trade is so important to our egg economy. 33-year-old Ann Schwegel raises livestock with her husband in Beardsley. She says connecting with other women farmers is invaluable. You get to talk shop and for me, as a woman farmer, it's not always super easy to talk shop with men, or they might, might not be super interested in talking shop with me. I always want to talk shop with anyone who will walk and want to chat with me. But it's, it's nice to talk shop with other women, because it's, just, it's more personal and more open. She's part of a new generation of younger farmers. Nearly a third in Minnesota today are women. Yes, she's a millennial, and it's okay. I actually wear the term millennial with a badge of pride. I know that there's a lot of angst about millennials and how they are different from previous generations. And I, I tend to think that every generation is a little different than the one that came before it. Not accepting the status quo might actually be what allows younger farmers to succeed. Hannah Bernhardt is passionate about things like soil health, climate change, and animal welfare. And she's also not afraid to ask for help. There are definitely hard parts to farming, and I think that's when it's most important is to be able to like, share the difficulties and know that your failure is not, you know, <laughs> not the end of the world and also not the only one who's been through this thing.